Hi everyone, it's Cars Guide Do It Yourself. Today I'm going to show you how to do oil change with oil filter and replace other filters in this Vauxhall Astra J with 2 liters CDTI engine, model year 2013. After watching this video, you can do it yourself with simple hand tools and you know that job is getting done properly, so stay with us. Okay, first you have to choose the right oil. Your owner's manual is great source to find it out. You will get information what oil grade you need and what is the engine oil capacity. In my climate for this engine is recommended 5W30 GM Dexas 2. All filters parts number I will write down in the description below the video. Here are some tools that you will need for this job. Very helpful will be flathead screwdriver and Phillips screwdriver. Also empty container for oil waste. First we will change pollen filter. It's behind the glove box. Take out that plastic cover from that side, detach that door seal and pull out the cover. Now unscrew four screws, one at each corner. Use 7mm socket. Now pull the glove box like that and disconnect the plug from that light. The pollen filter is right behind that rectangle cover. Detach the hooks from sides and remove old filter. I suggest to use vacuum cleaner to remove small dirt. After that, install new filter on place. Make sure that arrow on the filter is in correct way, it's showing helpful direction. Now close the cover. Don't forget to plug in the light. Install glove box on place, then tighten all screws. Put that side cover on place and fit the door seal. Next, we can replace air filter. It's inside that plastic box. All we have to do is unscrew six Phillips head screws and unplug the wire from that air mass flow sensor. Raise the cover up and we see the old air filter. Take it out, vacuum dirt from inside and we are ready to install new one. Put down the top cover and tighten all screws. Don't forget to plug the air mass flow sensor. Now we will replace the fuel filter, it's located on the rear right side just before rear wheel under the car. We will use car ramps to do it. Fuel filter body is attached to fuel tank and you should see same picture if you lie down under the car. We have to remove that fuel filter body from here and to do it we have to disconnect the fuel lines and two electric plugs. First detach it from the fuel tank, we have to raise it up. If you will be able to release the hook from the top, it will be easier. If not, just push it up direction, like that. Now disconnect electric wire plugs and disconnect the fuel lines. To disconnect the fuel lines, just squeeze that plastic part at the end of the hose. Put empty container under, because fuel will start leaking.
Now we can drain the fuel filter body. To do that, unscrew that plastic plug. One of the hardest things to do. We have to hold still the filter body to unscrew that filter cap. I use vise to hold it up, but don't tie it too hard. Also, I use claw to be more gentle. Okay, it's going really well. Now unscrew it rest of the way above container. Now remove old fuel filter and old seal. You can wash everything inside with a brake cleaner. We are ready to install new fuel filter. Moisten rubber elements with fresh engine oil. Do same thing for cap seal as well. Then tighten it with the hand. Install it in vise again and tighten it with torque wrench with 25 newton meters torque. It's ready to install in car. First, plug the fuel lines, then attach the fuel filter body in place and plug the electrical cable. Now we have to fill the fuel filter. It's very simple, just turn on ignition couple times, you will hear noise coming from the fuel tank and that's it. After that we are ready to start the engine. Time for oil change. To get to the oil sump plug and oil filter we have to remove the bottom engine cover. For this job we will use car ramps but you can also do it from car jack. That cover is held in by couple screws and four plastic clips. Remove that clips with the pliers. With 8mm socket, unscrew all screws. After that, we are ready to remove that cover. We can see now oil sump and there is our engine oil drain plug. Oil filter is located just under the alternator. Place an empty oil container under the drain plug, lose the drain bolt, make sure your oil drain container is in the right place and the oil is draining. The drain plug has got holes around it, be careful not to make a mess, oil will leaking from each of the holes. Wait until all oil will drain. To remove oil filter I will use universal joint, lock extension and 32mm socket. I get that through the front right wheel arch, but you can find more comfortable way to you to do it. Put underneath that filter cap rubbish bag because oil will start leaking from it and it will just dirt the back. Of course, empty oil container must be under. Ok, we drain everything, so we can screw in drain plug and tighten it with 25 newton meters torque. Wash oil sump and after that we can take care of the oil filter on the table. Remove that rubber seal and take out oil filter. Meanwhile you can wash the filter cap with the brake cleaner. Ok, moisten new rubber seal with fresh engine oil, install it in the right groove. Also moisten rubber seals in oil filter, then press it inside the filter cap. Before we install new filter here, wipe it old oil, it will look much nicer. And after that we can install filter cap on place. This is how it looks from the wheel arch. 
fit the filter cap on place and screw it with the hand. After that, tighten it with 25 Newton meters torque. We are ready to fill the engine with the fresh oil. Engine oil capacity is 4.5 liters. Remember to dispose old oil responsibly. Now we can fit the bottom cover, tighten all screws and fit the plastic clips. Last thing to do, we have to reset oil remaining life and we will do it using just left stall. Turn ignition on, switch to the next view with the menu button, we have to be in the middle menu screen. With a slip ring switch, set it on remaining oil life, then press set button. Switch to yes position and confirm it with the set button again. And job done! If you like it, thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.